it up? No.
evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Martinez Gym. We're live here in Tampa, Florida. It's the number nine Tampa Spartans versus the Palm Beach Atlantic Saltfish. Some quick game recap here. We have the Tampa Spartans at 23 and two, having that um, that victory last night against um, Lynn, the Lynn Fighting Knights, one three one. 14 and 1 in the conference for the Spartans. And for the PBA, um, Saltfish, they're 14 and 12. 7 and 8 in the conference. Having this away game, they are 2, six, two and 6 away. So we'll see if they can get the third away victory here in Tampa. As we get going here, folks. Tampa Spartans on a 10-game winning streak, 9-2 at home, having their only two losses of the season at home. All the players getting ready here. The Sailfish will... Started off with Amber Wawolt. Wawolt, excuse me. Wawolt will serve it. Hits it right to Cali Kors. Taps it over to Frayne, and she gets the first point to start the first set. Sorrell Houghton will serve it for the Spartans for the first time tonight. Here's the serve. Hits it right to the libero. Selfish coming into this game had a victory against Florida Tech. So they're definitely trying to win here. Here's Cal. Ooh, McKeel taps it over. It's retaliation. Good save by Rivera. Good defense by Dufresne. And they get the point. Alyssa Cundiff on that play. So Maddie Hooper will come off. And Kendall Alim, Alam will come in. And it's just in. A solid ace by Alam to get the second point for the Sailfish. Alam hits it over. Good save by Rivera. Elias, McKeel, and the deflection gets the point. Powerful spike on that play. Katie McKeel, what can you say? Had a great performance yesterday afternoon along with Cali Kors and Sorrell Houghton. Really a collective one they had last, last afternoon. Dufresne hits it off. And it's just out. Cundiff trying to get that angle down. Just got a little too much on it. Here's Dufresne. Really had an excellent performance from her last night. As she will come off after giving up a point. Jazz Smith will serve. The left-handed serve. Frostler, quick tap over. The Sailfish try to bat it around here, but they could not regroup. Melissa Elias will come off, and as expected, Emily Noel will come in. You see her come in early in the first set. Really try to get that serve down and try to get some points here for the Spartans. Here's the serve. Hits it right to Cundiff. Cundiff, again, cannot get it down. 
as it goes out. I always mention the pre-game jitters. You know, you have to get a few hits in, then you'll get the, get the gist of it. But here we go. Emily Noel. Kundiff again. Deflection. Great save by Kors. Kors. And I believe the deflection, oh, but it goes out, and it will be a point for the Sailfish. Selfish, 14 and 12, but let's not underestimate their team. They have a pretty solid team here. Great tackle by Luoma as she just came back in for the first time tonight. Kali Kors hits it. Good defense by 14 and 4. Great save by Houghton. Great top over by Forster. Cali Corps will serve it off. It's like a Spartan just aiming it like an arrow as she hits it over. Here's number one. Tap over. Just gets in. A great spot to put it at. And it gets the fifth point for the Sailfish. Amber Rewalt on that play. We'll hear her name tonight. As she will be Serving it mostly. Here's a libero. Tap over. Great save by Rivera. Ser Luoma. Great save by the libero. They just get it over. Sorrell Holden. And you know what she's going to do. She's going to spike it down. Great spike by Sorrell Holden. Seems like she's gotten no sleep as she's in straight, straight engineer mode. Having a great performance last, last night. Looking to continue here. Great tap over. Great save by Rivera. Luoma hits it down. Sarah Luoma. Claudia Rivera. We'll serve it for the, the first time tonight. And she gets it over. Great defense by Sarah Luoma and Mackenzie Dufresne. Luoma's really looking dominant early in this first set. You see from the previous game, she had an excellent performance. Let's see if she can continue tonight. Rivera hits it over. Gets it right to Aniwa. JJ Ramirez comes in tonight. Tap over by Houghton. Good save by the Sailfish. Great save by Luoma to keep it in play. Houghton taps it over. Here's a spike. And it just goes out. 10-5 Spartans. Early five-point lead. So it's going to be a timeout for the Sailfish as they trail by five. This is the University of Tampa. Explore your dreams. Discover your talents. Get ready to invent, innovate, and be a leader. This is the University of Tampa. Welcome back, folks. 
It's 10-5 Spartans. Rivera serves it off. Oh, great defense by Holton. It's, oh, it's going to be a selfish point as the ball went out. But again, great defense by Sorrell Holton. Really an all-around player Sorrell Holton is. So, Vatia will serve it off. And no cannot get it down. I believe it's a miscommunication on that play as Dufresne was looking to spike it over, but no cannot harness it down. Avisha gets to Ramirez. Nice spike! Wow! Mackenzie Dufresne spikes it right at the libero's face, and she could not handle that one. Spawns are really bringing the thunder tonight early. Might I mention, if folks don't know, that the last game against the Knights, they actually dropped the first set, but then won the next three. So they're definitely not trying to win. They're not, definitely not trying to lose the first set, as the coach was definitely talking about that the last game. 12-7 Spartans. To have a short lead here. Melissa Lives will tap it over. Ball almost goes over. Great defense collectively right there. Holton communicating. McKeel, they keep it alive, but it goes over the press box. And it'll be another point for the Spartans. Spawns were a little bit clumped together there, but great communication by the middle blockers and outside hitters to space out. Elias will tap it over again. Great spike by Chaz Smith with the smooth spike. And she gets the Sailfish's eighth point. Ball just goes out. It'll be another point for the Spartans. So Ramirez will come off. And Cali Kors will come back in. Sorrell Houghton will serve at the top. Force will serve. Smith hits it right to Houghton. Elias hits it to Kors. Kors taps it over. Great read by number seven. Avisha, I believe so. Elias keeps it alive. Houghton taps it over. Cundiff, and she gets the point. Powerful spike on that play. Don't believe McKeel and Dufresne could get it down. And it'll be another point for the Sailfish. I'll tell you right now, folks, that will not happen that much tonight as McKeel and Dufresne have that real good chemistry at that end of the court right there. Hits it over to Rivera. McKeel taps it over. Avisha hits it to Cundiff. Good save by Elias. Cali Kors. Cundiff, and she just got it in. Finally got that angle down on that spike. And great position on the ball as it gets the point for the Sailfish. 14-10. Spartans still trying to keep that lead here. Katie McKeel right in the center back front. And she gets the easy point as it went right through the defense. Increase the leads to five. Mackenzie Dufresne will serve it up. Hits it. Ball rolled up her chest. And the ball gets in. A scary, scary hit by there. But the Selfish, they recovered and they got the point. Jazz Smith will serve it off. 
Kelly Kors, Frazier, I believe it just got in. A great play by Taylor Forster. I don't think any defense that I've seen has ever covered Taylor Forster the right way. They use her as a decoy, but when she comes, she comes hard. Emily Noel comes back in to serve it. Great spike. Great save by Rivera. Callie Kors hits it over. Cundiff, and she gets the angle again. A surprising miss hit by Claudia Rivera. Last game, Claudia Rivera and JJ Ramirez were both flying and just saving every ball. But I expect the same performance from her tonight. Deflection over. Great save by Rivera. But won't hit it over. And the Spurs cannot regroup. It's going to be another point for the Selfish. See, narrow in that. They trail by three right now. It's 16 to 13. Cundiff hits it off. Seluoma. And it's just too far. She could not get it down. Sixteen fourteen, folks. Timeout, Tampa. So why are you at PBA? Because I wanted to be in a Christian environment. Because I love the community. A million opportunities for me to get involved. I really find myself growing here in my walk with God. Because Palm Beach Atlantic University is anchored in faith, anchored in values, anchored in truth. We educate, mentor, pray for our students, so they can confidently launch. On my team, I thrive to work as hard as I can. I mean, whatever you do on the field, there's a positive correlation to whatever else you do, be it personal relationships, homework, the way you carry yourself. I've changed since I got to King University. It's really helped me to develop as a leader. I think it's honestly the best thing that's ever happened. <laughs> Welcome back here, folks. 16-14, Selfish are trying to never in that trail. They're down by two now. Really, both teams have looked neck to neck. Spawns really haven't got a commanding lead here. Frosta just taps it down. Playing a little game of taps here as she got it down. Kelly Kors aims and shoots. Great read by Cundiff, and it will go out for a selfish point. She will come off. JJ Ramirez comes in. Alongside Claudia Rivera. A deadly duo right there. Claudia Rivera hits it out. They keep it in play. Great hit from a Walt as she went up it when no one was there. Lead is now 1, 17, 16. Sparn's really trying to close out this first set before it gets ugly here. No, hits it to Sorrell Houghton. And she just gets it through. A late read by Ali Smith. Leads to another point for the Spartans. So Frosta will come off. Sarah Lomo comes back in. Oh, and Rivera cannot get it over. 
a rare sight here as Rivera could not get over. She's known for those little blooper, blooper serves, but could not get over this time. You won't see that a lot. Here's Alyssa Avisha. Nice tap over by Dufresne. Great spike, but better save by Ramirez. And Holton just gets it through. Makia comes, comes in. Noel comes off. Luoma comes off. Elias comes in. Sponge rotation. Coach is really trusting his players here as they all can do the job. And we know this because of the record. It's 23 and 2. Elias hits it over. Wow, she really got up on that play. But great save by R Rivera. Excuse me, Ramirez. They keep it in play here. Ball is batted around. Great save by Cundiff. Dufresne taps it over, and Smith cannot get it. A great sequence of events here from both teams as the point goes to the Spartans. And now they're five points away from getting the first set. Elias hits it up. Right to Smith. Avisha hits it up. And it's just out. The Wolf cannot get it down in time. 21 four, I mean, excuse me. 21 17. Four point lead for the Spartans. Elias hits it up. Avisha. Great tap by. Smith, collective defense here. So all the Spartans came down saving it. They try to save it again. Holman gets it. Great save by Rivera. Wow, the Spartans are looking really sharp here. I believe the deflection was there. And it's going to be another point for the Spartans. A great read, a great call from the ref to make sure that point was appointed to the correct team. So there'll be a timeout for PBA, 22-17 Spartans. skill more than endless drills more than using your head being a champion takes the heart to give it your all the agility to thrive from any angle and the relentless drive to be the best welcome to division two where the pursuit is yours to create and the question isn't can you do it it's will you Welcome back here, folks. 22-17 Spartans. Three points away from getting the first set. Not a dominant performance here from the Spartans, but definitely looking sharp here. Elias hits it up. Right to Cundiff. 8-8. Wow, she just gets it in. I believe that was Revolt. And we're going to be saying her name a lot tonight. Is she's really been aggressive here tonight. The world of 5'10 team out of Watertown, Wisconsin. Place that. Oh, she just hit it out. It's going to be another point for the Spartans. 23-18. Ramirez comes off. Rivera comes back in. And Holton will serve. Just gets to Smith. Smith to Smith. Rewalt spikes it down. Elias right there. 
Here's McKeel with the kill. Too much power in that play. Can they keep it in play? Great save by Smith. Holding. Cali Kors. Even the defense on the ground. Cali Kors again. When you have McKenzie Dufresne, when you have Katie McKeel, when you have Cali Kors, and you have the rest of the team being dominant, there's no stopping these Spartans as they have the game point. Excuse me. Set point. Ty keep in play here. It's going to be a point for the Sailfish. 24-19. Any fans back home, raise up your left hand with your index finger because we have set point. Cody Rivera saves it. Cali Kors, and she gets the set. 25-19. And they get the first set. A commanding start here from the Spartans as they get the first set. We'll be right back, folks. Just another ordinary day at UT. Here we are in the second set here, folks. If you're just joining us, the Tampa Spartans won the first set, 25 to 19. They look to get the second set here. Again, we thank you for joining TampaSpartans.tv. I'm Brandon Davis.
Melissa Elias will set it off for the second set. Here's the retaliation. Great save by Rivera. Elias hits at the cores. Smith to Smith. Great defense by Razor and Houghton. Razor getting her first action tonight. Tap over, but cannot execute it. So the Sailfish will get the first point of the second set. Here's Amber LeWaltz as she hit it over. Sorrell Houghton hits it down. Great recovery by Razor. Great save by Cundiff. A powerful spike by Jazz Smith as she just got that spike down. Leaving the Tampa Spartans defense in awe. So Rewolf will hit it. Elias holding on the other end. Gets the redemption retaliation spike. Holden was like, oh no, no, no. As she will serve it. And it's just too far. These volleyball players, they make serving look so easy, but it's really not easy. It's really not. You have to be technical with it, and you have to angle it, and there's just a lot of things that go into it. But nonetheless, here's the, the serve. Makia spikes it down. I believe that was off with deflection, and Rewolf could not get to it in time. 3-2 Sailfish. Have a one-point lead. I believe that's their first lead of the game. Let's see if they can hold it. Razor will tap it over with that light serve. Tap over by Cundiff. Razor just saves it. Ball is being batted around here. Holton hits it up. Callie Kors. I believe that hit her fingertips as it went out. So Sierra Razor will come off. Taylor Forza, I believe will come in. Elias just saves it. Forrest hits it. A powerful spike by Talbert. And they get the point. Selfish. Looking more aggressive here as they have a 5-2 lead. They dropped the first set here, folks. They're trying to get that second set. Talbert hits it. I mean, excuse me, Smith hits it. And Forsler gets the point. Defense was not ready for that. Katie McKeel comes off. Elias comes off. And Sarah Luomo will come back in. As well, Emily Noel. And Noel will hit it off. Right to Smith. Ooh! Wow! Anna Gregerson hits her right in Cody Rivera's face. Rivera not having no smoke. She was, you know, pretty subtle about that. Laughs it off. Amy Dukes. Cundiff hits it. Forsler gets the redemption with that spike. Looking out for her teammate, Cody Rivera. Cali Kors aims and shoots. Here's the spike. Revolt. Good save by Rivera. Sorrell Holton hits it over. Good defense by the Selfish. Holton taps it over. Here's Revolt again. And Kors tries to get it. It's going to be a point for the Selfish. Cali Kors comes off. J.J. Ramirez comes in. Gotta love the positivity 
from JJ Ramirez. Great save by Rivera. Holton keeps it in play. And Sarah Luoma, police try to tap it over here, but she cannot get it over. Bryce Taylor playing. Don't believe that's the right type of music for this setting. It's more like late night feels, you know, when you're driving. But here we go. Claudia Rivera. Sorrell Holton. And they boom with the defense as the Sailfish get their ninth point. So it's 9-4, Sailfish, timeout, Spartans. Welcome back here, folks. 9-4 Selfish. Olivia Smith will hit off. And it's going to be a point for the Selfish. I believe that was a violation of that play. Excuse me. Ali Smith, not Olivia. Ali Smith, the libero will hit it off. And she just hits it out. Be a point for the Spartans as Frosser comes off. Spartans trailing by five here, not worried at all as they know that they will, in their minds, they know that they will come back. Hohen hits it off. I mean, excuse me, Rivera serves it. Rivera hits it. Luoma, great save by Rivera to keep it in play. Spike goes down. Rivera gets it again. Sarah Luoma. Great save by number 16. No, taps it up. Luoma hits it right to Smith. Powerful spike on that play. Ramirez hits it. No, just saves it as they tap it over to regroup. Well, just to flex over. Sorrell Holton again. It's just a little bit too far on that play. And the trail now is six. So Grace Talbot will come off. And Alyssa Vida will come in. Ball goes over. No. Razor, great read, taps it over. And the ball goes out as it sailed over the net. Luoma will come off. No one will come off. Kelly, I mean, excuse me, Katie McKeel will come back in, as well as Melissa Elias to serve it. Elias serves it over. Avisha. Great save by Ramirez. Kelly, excuse me, Katie McKeel, so hard to tell the two. But uh, the Sailfish, they get the point. And increase their lead to six. Sierra Razor spikes it down. 
for her first kill of the night. Ramirez comes off. Callie Kors comes back in. This is going to be a deadly five here for the Spartans. Alicia hits it to Cundiff. Oh, and too much patience on there Let, leads the ball to go out of bounds. 13-7, Sailfish. Still have a lead here. As I, as I mentioned before, Selfish two and six in the weight games here. So the more favor to lose when they, when they go away. But nevertheless, they are leading right now in the second set as Rivera comes off. Razor will tap it over. Avisha hits the Cundiff. We know this already. And Cundiff spikes it down. Avisha will come off. And Grace Talbot will come back in. Selfish, the height is not really that tall. I would say average for a volleyball player. Ranging from 5'8 to about 6 foot. So the high, the tallest player is, I believe, 6 foot 1. And we know Taylor Forrester for the Spartans is 6 foot 3. We've seen the Spartans last night. They struggled a little bit with um, the Friday Knights' height. They had multiple players that were like 6'4", six, 6'3". Six, but nevertheless, tonight, you have a little bit short of, of opponents. Here's a serve. Oh, they just tapped it over. I don't believe Hannah Gregerson attempted to go that direction, but she just got it in. I know she's relieved on that play. 15-9, Sailfish. Hits it right to Houghton. Forster spikes it down, and we know what's going to happen again when Forster comes up. Wow. Taylor Forster. What can you say, folks? Always bringing on a dominant performance. Callie Kors. And she just gets it down. I believe she tried to use that technique of using her bottom palm to get it down as the position on the ball spins it and it curves down. We'll see if she does that again. Nope, a straight, normal serve here. Revolt. Great save by Rivera. Good defense by Smith. Left-handed spike goes out of bounds for Talbert. Boy, I wish I was playing volleyball because I'm left-handed and I would definitely be giving these girls some competition with my left-handed spike. But that's just me boasting. But here's the serve. Great save by Smith. Revolt hits it over. Frosler taps it over. I believe the deflection was on that play. Revolt hits it right to Rivera. Easy tap over. Great save again by Smith. And Travell Houghton taps it over. As the lead now is by two, 15-13. Sailfish will be right back.
Welcome back here, folks. 15-13, Selfish lead. Selfish tap it over. Here's a spike from Chauvel Houghton again. He had a short commercial break here with a timeout, but Houghton does not need no water break. She's coming with the thunder again and again. Callie Kors will serve it off. 15-14 here. Now 15-15 and the Spartans tie it for the first time in the set. The momentum has shifted here as the Spartans really needed that timeout to regroup as a collective whole. And now they are tied. Gotta get props to coach here for the Spartans. Chris Kadenach, Kadenach, excuse me, head coach for the Spartans, doing a great job as the Spartans are leading now, number one in the SEC conference at 14 and one. Cali Kors hits it over. Taba hits it, great save by Rivera, but the selfish get the point. Selfish here, all have their players from America. We're so used to Florida having a lot of players from, you know, different countries, Spain, we seen you last night, Bosnia, Hungary. Um, it could be from Puerto Rico, like Claudia, Claudia Rivera. It could be anywhere. But nevertheless, Palm Beach Atlantic, they have a lot of players from America. Most of them from Florida, to be honest. Speaking of Florida, Ali Smith from Fleming Island will serve it off. Emily Noel taps it. Luomo taps it over. Smith. Smith. I don't, th I don't think Smith was trying to hit that. But Kelly Court is trying to read Smith, Smith, excuse me, her move. And she reacted late to it. And the lead now is up to three. And Cali Kors will come off. Ramirez will come back in. Ball just goes over. Rivera just gets it. And Chevelle Houghton gets it through off of deflection. Cole Rivera. SCC Conference Player of the Week three times in a row. And we know that there's four weeks in a month, so she was the Player of the Week for almost a month. That's how good she is, folks. Ball is bad around here. And the fourth hit goes to the Sailfish. 18-15 here, folks. Alyssa Vidia will serve it over. Sorrell Houghton taps it over. Avidia hits it to Smith. They just save it. Diving like dolphins and they get the point. Melissa Elias will serve it off. Elias at a Lake Mary in Florida. Avidia hits it. Rivera regroups. Elias, McKeel. McKeel hits it again. Great defense by the Sailfish. They tap it over. Elias, McKeel. And the ball goes over for another point for the Spartans. A 
Elias hits it over. Avidia to Revolt. Revolt, excuse me. They spike it down. A great spike by Jazz Smith. But it will be two point lead here, folks. 19 17. Revolt hits it over. Easy top over by Kundiff. Twenty seventeen here, folks. Five points away for the Selfish to get their first set. We'll be right back. So why are you at PBA? Because I wanted to be in a Christian environment. Because I love the community. A million opportunities for me to get involved. I really find myself growing. Welcome back here, folks. 2017, Sailfish lead. Don't have a strong commanding lead here, but nevertheless, they still have the lead here as the Spartans are eager to try to win this set. Rewalt hits it over. Right to Houghton. Elias hits it back to Houghton, and she gets it through the defense. Maddie Hooper and Cundiff on that play could not hold it down. Ramirez comes off. Rivera comes in. And Houghton will serve it. Right to Cundiff. Ovidia back to Cundiff. Good save by Cali Kors as the ball hit over. Smith. Houghton just gets it over. Cali Kors spikes it. Cali Kors again. Ball goes out, they keep it in play. But it's gonna be a point for the Spartans. Too much power by Cali Kors. And Ali Smith cannot hold it down. Houghton hits it over. Avidia gets it to Smith. Good save by Houghton. Katie McKeel! It's going to be out. It's just too far on that play. 21-19. Selfish still have that lead. So you know, it was 15-15. That was the last time both teams tied. But ever since then, it's been the Selfish. Cody Rivera. Katie McKeel. Oh, the ball just went over. A desperate save on that one. Cali Kors just taps it over. And the ball goes over the selfish defense. And now they trail by one. Sierra Razor playing that middle blocker position. Will serve it. Hits it right to Cundiff. Evidia. Cundiff hits it over. Elias. Forsler! Taylor Forsler again, as she just tied the game. 21 up. Sierra Razor taps it over. Cundiff. Revolt hits it right to Melissa Elias. Katie McKeel taps it over. Avidia gets it. Revolt hits it again. Hits it right to Revolt. Ball is being battered around. And Elias could not get it down. And it's going to be a point for the Selfish. 
Reza comes off. Claudia Rivera comes back in. Hits it right to Coors. Forsler hits it. Good save by Smith. And Rivera cannot keep it in play. 23-21 here, folks. Selfish, two points away from getting the first set and tying the series. Spartans desperate, really trying to get the second set here. As they get the, tw the 20 second point, and now they trail by one. We come to almost a close here. It's a win by two situation here, so if it ever gets to that point, I'm just trying to let you guys know here, folks. Emily No comes in. Melissa Elias will come off. She's known for her serves. Let's see if they can get an ace in the next possession. But here's this possession. Cali Kors, they get it through. And they tie the game. Twenty-three up here, folks. Timeout, PBA. I pledge. I pledge. I pledge. I pledge. I am an NCA student athlete, and I pledge to be a champion of unity on my team, on my campus, and in my community. I pledge to embrace differences and strive for inclusion and collaboration. I pledge to stand against racism, hate, and discrimination. I pledge to strive for love, care, and forgiveness. I pledge to stand against silence, deceit, and obscurity. I pledge to strive for dialogue, truth, and understanding. I pledge to stand against fear and doubt. I pledge to strive for trust and belief in one another. I pledge to stand against complacency and stagnancy. I pledge to strive for change and growth. I commit to supporting my fellow student athletes in all circumstances that impact them. I commit to both choosing unity personally and encouraging it for all. I pledge these things because we are stronger together. United, United as, as one. one. Welcome back here, folks. 23-23. It's anyone's game here, folks, for the set. Two points away from getting the first set. In my opinion, it might go to one by two situation here. But let's see who can get the last two points. Emily Noel. Hits it up. There's Smith. Wow! Elise Cundiff soaring in the air with the spike. Here's the hit. They set her up, and she soars in the air and gets right past Callie Kors and Claudia Rivera. But here's the next possession. Callie Kors with the retaliation on the other end. She's in the same end. Callie Kors definitely wanted that possession. You'd love to see the aggression. 24 up here, folks as it will be a win by two situation. Kunde picks it up. Revolt, and it's just in. Just in as it hit the line. The back end of the line is 25-24. Ali Smith will serve it for what could be the last possession of the second set. We'll see here, folks. Rivera hits it up. No, Houghton. Gets the point and ties it at 25 up. Like I said, don't underestimate this selfish team here. 14 and 12 overall, but still can give you a run for your money. Rivera taps it over. Here's Talbert. Great save by Rivera. Sorrell Houghton. Taps it over. Revolt hits it. Revolt hits it again. Great save by Kors. Norma hits it up. 
Both teams regroup here. Barone hits it again. Just out. Spurs were looking for that. And they get their wish as they go up for the first time in this set. 26-25. Set point here, folks, for the Spartans. Looper serve. Cundiff gets it. Tap over. And it's just out. Spartans are just getting lucky here, folks, that they were trailing for the majority of the set. And they win it here, 27-25, and they go up 2-0 in the series. We'll be right back here, folks. Tucker Whitman and I'm a junior marketing major here at UT. Today we're going to look at some of the highlights of our beautiful Riverside campus here in downtown Tampa. We'll start at Plan Hall. This historic building was opened in 1891 as the Tampa Bay Hotel and now serves as the main academic building here at UT with four floors of classrooms as well as faculty and administrative offices. Next up, the Vaughn Center, the hub of campus life and activities. This multi-purpose building includes the campus bookstore, our primary cafeteria plus an additional food court, a theater, as well as offices and meeting rooms for student organizations. The Vaughn Center is also one of UT's residence halls, providing five floors of student rooms. Morsani Hall is another residence hall here at UT. In addition to housing approximately 450 students, this building offers another selection of eateries as well as a small grocery store. Now let's check out the Sykes College of Business. This academic building houses classrooms and faculty offices for UT's undergrad and graduate business students. This building also has a real-time stock trading room. Right next door is the Sykes Chapel for Faith and Values. This gorgeous interfaith chapel features a large main hall complete with a massive pipe organ as well as meditation rooms and meeting rooms. Student healthcare is a major priority for us here at UT. The Dickey Health and Wellness Center is accessible to all students and provides high quality services including basic medical care, counseling and wellness programs. On the east side of campus you'll find the McDonald Kelsey Library. Here, students can learn from a large collection of books, periodicals, and digital databases. They can also take advantage of our numerous study rooms and computers. The Academic Success Center is another great resource for students. This is your one-stop shop for academic advising, coaching, and tutoring services. Whether you're a seasoned athlete or just want to shoot some hoops, the athletic facilities here at UT are hard to beat. The Bob Martinez Athletic Center includes a large gymnasium, a weight room, and training facilities. In addition, the campus features an aquatic center open year-round, six tennis courts, baseball and softball fields, a 1,500-seat stadium, as well as a lacrosse field and intramural complex. Need a break from studying? Head to Falk Theater and catch a play. This 1,000-seat historic theater serves as a home for all major performances made by UT's Department of Speech, Theater and Dance, as well as special guests. This is one of UT's newest facilities, the Innovation and Collaboration Building. Here you will find UT's very own Starbucks. In addition, classrooms, cybersecurity labs, study lounges, and the Loth Entrepreneurship Center designed for student entrepreneurs to launch their startups. Thanks for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video tour of UT, we'd love to give you one in person. For more information or to schedule a campus visit, go to ut.edu. College sports. There's light at the end of the tunnel. A return to normal and all we love about sports. You've instilled resilience, focus, and selflessness in us. We've put those lessons to work. We've found strength and unity in each other. You continue to take us places we never imagined. You bring out the best in us. So when we look forward, we see the light at the end of the tunnel. We see a better world for all of us and, and for the college, college sports. sports. Number 32. 
to Kyle Hornsby. NCAA and its member schools offer nearly half a million college athletes a path to go pro in something other than sports. Learn more at NCAA.org slash opportunity. Welcome back here, folks. After that short halftime break, Tampa Swans lead 2-0 in the series. Just getting lucky with that second set as they were trailing for the majority of the set into those last few points. Say so get the set, 27-25. Now the Spawns last game didn't sweep, but they won 3-1. Let's see if they can sweep here and get their 11th win, 11th straight win. So Rowalt will serve it all for the third set. The ball hits the net and it will be a selfish point for the first point of the set. Rowalt again hits it over. Dufresne spikes it down. Avidia, wow a great spike. They keep it in play though. Great composure by the Spartans. Ball goes up, just gets over the net. Ooh, and Sorrell Houghton just slips up on that play. Well, fun fact here, folks. JJ Ramirez from Fleming Island, Florida, went to the same high school as Ali Smith, and they're three years apart as Ali Smith is a senior and J.J. Ramirez is a freshman, so we don't know if they knew each other, but it's just a fun fact, like I said. Sorrell Houghton will serve it. Hits it right to Cundiff. Avidia, Cundiff again. Good read by Claudia Rivera as she was prepared for that spike. Seeming to be predictable by Cundiff on that other end to spike it to the other end. But another, nonetheless, good read by Claudia Rivera. And the ball just goes out. 3-2 here. Selfish. Speaking of selfish, my boy from hometown um, in New York, Franklin Mundo actually attends PBA, plays baseball there. So shout out Franklin Mundo, as I'm sure he's watching his team play. Katie McKeel hits it. Wow, great sequence of events here. And the ball goes out for a Spartans point. Mackenzie Dufresne getting her first serve of the night. Wow, 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 wow. Elise Cundiff spikes it right in Melissa Elias' face. She's only, she's only six foot and she gets up like she's 6'3". It's remarkable. Elias, McKeel, easy spike from her and she gets the point. So McKeel will come off, Melissa Elias will come off, and the duo Emily No and Sarah Luoma will come back in. Sponge really trying to get this last set and wrap it up here as they're known to do. 4-4, tie game. Cundiff on the other end, and Callie Kors screaming and roaring as she got the defensive win on that play. Emily Noel will serve it again. She hits it over. There's Smith. Cundiff. 
Good save by Rivera as she regroups. Luoma just gets it through past Rewalt. Emily No out of Coco, Florida. So a lot, a lot of Floridians here, especially for the Spartans. Spike over. Luoma read that quickly. Great tap over by Kors as the Sailfish just get it through. Great spike by Luoma. Rewalt hits it right to Rivera. Ooh, and Emily No could not get it. I believe she burned her hand on that, her arm. But great effort by Emily No. She's trying to shake it off. No. Right to cause Too much for Cundiff. And the ball goes out for another Spartans point. They take a two-point lead here in the early third set. So Mary Morgan Formby will get her first appearance tonight. And Grace Tolbert will come off. The Spartan, Cali Kors, aims and shoots, but it's just too far on that serve. And she will come off. JJ Ramirez will come in. During halftime, she was dancing to some tunes, always bringing that positive vibes and positive energy to the Spartans. We love to see it. Emily No hits it to Sorrell Holland. The ball goes up and over. Right back to the Spartans. And Sorrell Holland kills it. Wow. Ali Smith is not real. She's not having a good performance tonight as both outside hitters are really hitting it right to Ali Smith. And it's just too much power for Smith to handle. Little tap over. Great save by Rivera. She was ready for that. Revolt hits it right past Ramirez and Rivera. Eight seven Spartans here. And what could be the last set of the night. Avidia serves it off out of Phoenix, Arizona. Great tap over by Rewalt and Maddie Hooper as she hoops it up and taps it over. Avidia again. She will serve it off. I assume that this cold weather that we have now in Tampa, she's not really used to. As, like I said, she's from Arizona. So she's used to the heat. But I'm used to the cold. So I'm loving this weather as it's, I believe, like 50 or 60 degrees right now. We, us New Yorkers, we call that hoodie season. So it's definitely hoodie season now in Tampa. Oh, the ball goes over for a PBA point. Spartans looking pretty shocked in that play as they expected a point here. But they will regroup as they know that they will get more points in the future. Avidia hits it over for her third serve. Dufresne just taps it over. Gliding in the air, by the way. Good communication by Horton. Luoma hits it down. But better defense again by Revolt and Maddie Hooper. Avidia will serve it up again. Right to Rivera. Dufresne just taps it over. 
Mackenzie Dufresne with the hops. She's gliding over the defense. Just scoops it up and gets the point. 11-9 here. Sailfish still lead. Melissa Elias hits it up. Tap over by Rewalt. Sponge recoup here. McKeel taps it. Here's Smith with a powerful spike. Great defense by Rivera. Excuse me, Ramirez. And the point goes to the Spartans off of Savelle Holton as she just got it in. Elias will serve it here for the Spartans. Spartans leading, excuse me, trailing by one here. The world demanding spike on that one, but Rivera got the best of it. Smith here taps it over. Elias testing the defense here. The world too far on that play. Oh, I believe it was a deflection. And PBA gets the point. Here's Rewalt. So Rivera ducks over it. Good V from her. And she will get the point for her team. So Rowe Holton, again, outstanding performance tonight. Just got it over. Here's Cundiff. Callie Kors gets it. Tap over by McKeel. Defense ready for that one. And a great collective defense from Katie McKeel and Mackenzie Dufresne. As we know, over the course of this season, we've seen that from Dufresne and McKeel having that tag team duo on the defensive end. 12 up here, folks. Ball just goes over as it tapped over the net. Holton keeps it alive. Kelly, excuse me, Katie McKeel. Here's Smith. And the ball rolls over the frame's back. And it will be a point for PBA. Kendall Alim, Alam will serve. Dufresne decoy, and Katie McKeel gets it through the defense. Drew Gregerson and Cundiff. Alam will come off. And Maddie Hooper will come off. Here's Dufresne with the serve. Hits it right to a wall. No net violation on this play. Keeping it clean here. Here's Elias. Katie McKeel. And leaves the defense on her knees. And she could not get the play. Fourteen thirteen. Spartans lead. Sorrell Holton communicating with the refs here. Everything seems to be good though. Here's the serve. Here's the spike. Wow! A great spike by Jazz Smith. Here's the replay on that one. Jazz Smith. A powerful left-handed spike. The frame was not ready for that one. And she will serve it up again. Callie Kors. Great position on the ball. They're keeping it alive here. Melissa Elias hits it. Callie Kors. Excuse me. Katie McKeel. And Elias cannot keep it alive. Yeah. 
Jazz Smith. Reminded me of like Darren Williams when he was on the Utah Jazz. Great save by Smith. Cundiff. Better defense by McKeel. Cundiff again. Again, McKeel and Forsler on that. Oh, and Melissa Elias could not harness that. Great support by her, her peers. Uplifting her. We love to see that. As the Spartans trail by two here. Still any anybody's game for the set. Anyone. Katie McKeel with the kill. Ball goes up. Falls a decoy. McKeel gets it right past the defender. I don't think that Cundiff could handle that one. As the lead now is by one. Here's Smith. Tap over by Cundiff. Great defense by Noel. And Cali Cross gets the point off a great angle. And Rewal is left in disappointment. I believe she slipped on that play. I think after every break here, every commercial break, we should have staff trying to clean the court here because we always want safety with the athletes so that way they, they don't slip on their own, on their own sweat. So 16 up here. It'll be a Spartan serve. Let's see what Emily No does. No hits it up. Right to Cundiff. There's Smith. Whoa, wow. A powerful spike by Formby. Well, first kill of night. The ball ricocheted off of like three defenders. And it will be a one point lead for the Sailfish as they serve it up. No. Cali Kors just keeps it alive here. Luomo will hit it back. A great spike, but better defense by No. Luoma hits it right to Smith. Smith. Luomo. Sponge regroup. Luoma trying to tap it over. Defense anticipated that. And Formby just too far on that play. It's going to be a point for the Spartans. Seventeen, seventeen. Still anybody's game here. Spartans really trying to close it out on the sweep. As they love to sweep their opponents. Nothing cocky about that. It's just business. Here's Sawara Holton. Great save by Cundiff. Keep that keeping it alive here. Ball is being battered around. A forceful spike by Formby. Great save by No. Cundiff again. Great save by Coors. Holton taps it over. Smith hits it over. Here's a spike by Forsler. And you know what she's going to do. She's going to deliver the point for the Spartans. Forsler pretty quiet in this third set. But coming with the silent kill in that middle blocker position. You always count on Taylor Fosler. Cali Kors hits it. Here's Rewalt. Just gets it past Kors and Rivera. Great effort by Claudia Rivera on that play. Cali Kors will come off. JJ Ramirez will come in. Let's see what the two tag team duos do here. And the ball goes out. 19-18, Spartans lead. Forster will come out. Dufresne will come in. Dufresne's really going to be a threat on this one. Watch. 
Cody Rivera hits it up. Hits Smith. The Wolf. I believe the ball went down first and the selfish tied up. Formby comes off. Avita comes in. And Avita will serve it off for the selfish. Nineteen up. Houghton. No. Be afraid. What did I say? She was gonna be a threat. And a threat she is. She gets the point for the Spartans. And now they only have five points from getting the match. Melissa Elias comes back in. Luoma comes off. Elias will serve. 2019 Spartans. Fans just joining us. Spartans have a 2-0 lead in the series. Trying to get this sweep here. Sorrell Holden taps it over. Ball just goes out on that play. And it's tied up again. Revolt hits it. There's Elias. Tap over by Sorrell Houghton. Again, bringing the intelligence. Sorrell Houghton knows where she is. And she gets the point. <coughs> 21 20. Spartans have a one point lead here. Ball just almost saved. They keep it in play here. Dufresne. Decoy. Kelly, Katie McKill, coming out of nowhere. Leaves reward on the ground. Elias sets up her and she kills it. Wow. So 22-20, timeout, PBA. Welcome back here, folks. 22-20. Spartans lead. They try to get the match. Three points away here. The tap over by Smith. Great save by Rivera. Intensity is rising here. It's going to be a point for the Sailfish as they're down by one. Here's the serve. Callie Kaur is in the play. Melissa Elias sets up McKeel. They keep it in play. Avita, Cundiff, spike down. Cundiff again, and she gets the point. Holding on that play. Just a little bit too late on there, and they tied up, 22 up. 22 up, like I just said, timeout, Tampa. I pledge. I pledge. I pledge. I pledge. I am an NCAA student athlete. And I pledge to be a champion of unity on my team, on my campus, and in my community. I pledge to embrace differences and strive for inclusion and collaboration. I pledge to stand against racism, hate, and discrimination.
I pledge to strive for love, care, and forgiveness. I pledge to stand against silence, deceit, and obscurity. I pledge to strive for dialogue, truth, and understanding. I pledge to stand against fear and doubt. I pledge to strive for trust and belief in one another. I pledge to stand against complacency and stagnancy. I pledge to strive for change and growth. I commit to supporting my fellow student athletes in all circumstances that impact them. I commit to both choosing unity personally and encouraging it for all. I pledge these things because we are stronger together. United, United as, as one. one. Welcome back here, folks. 22-22 tie game. If you're just joining us, Tampa is leading 2-0 with this win in this set. They can win the match. Cali Kors gets it. Kors sets it off. Here are the sailfish with a powerful spike. Chas Smith. Smith, excuse me, on that play. That left-handed spike is unanswered again and again. 23-22, PBA leads. Here are the Spartans, trying to retaliate, and they do! Callie Kors, you know what she's gonna do. So, Rivera comes off, Forza comes in, Mackenzie Dufresne will serve. Let's see if Tampa can get the last two points here. If they don't, it goes to a win by two situation like we've seen before. Ball is batted around. Cundit taps it over. I believe four hits on the play will be match point for the Spartans. Rewalt beating her case on that play to the ref. Still pleading their case here, arguing with the refs. Refs are not giving it anything at all. They're still saying Tampa ball. Match point here, 24-23. Intensity's rising here. Avida, Cundiff, the flex in. It's gonna be a point for PBA and they tie it. So Avida comes off and Form B will come in. Claudia Rivera will come back in. Smith hits it right to Rivera. Elias. McKeel taps it over. Smith quick right there. She gets it. And they get the point to lead it by one. And now they have set point. 25-24 PBA leads. So why are you at PBA? Because I wanted to be in a Christian environment. Because I love the community. A million opportunities for me to get involved. I really find myself growing here in my walk with God. Because Palm Beach Atlantic University is anchored in faith. Anchored in values. Anchored in truth. We educate. Mentor. Pray for our students so they can confidently launch. Back here, folks. Smith hits it off. PBA leads. Cali Kors hits it. And PBA gets the set. 26-24. And now 
Spartans lead two to one for what could have been a sweep. But none nonetheless, PBA gets the set, 26-24. We'll be right back with a short commercial break. This is the University of Tampa. Explore your dreams. Discover your talents. Get ready to invent, innovate, and be a leader. This is the University of Tampa. In NCAA Division II, student-athletes leave a lasting impression on their communities. That's because Division II student-athletes want to make a difference and truly be part of their surrounding communities. Through community engagement, thousands of student-athletes from various backgrounds interact with community members who view them as role models. This interaction leaves a positive and perhaps even life-changing impression on all those involved. In Division II, we rise to the opportunity and make community engagement ours. Welcome back here, folks, with the fourth set. Shortly before the commercial break, the PBA Sailfish won that last set, 26-24, to get their first win here tonight for the sets. And here's the serve from Elias. Avida hits it to... Rahul, and she gets the first point of the set. Here's Rahul. Hits it right to Rivera. Wow! Sierra Razor spikes it down. I don't think the defense was realizing how powerful Sierra Razor could be. Sorrell Houghton hits it up, right to Smith. Avida, the center, hits it right to Cundiff. Great reaction time by Cody Rivera. And Cali Kors gets the easy, easy point.
Great all-around all performance from Cali Kors tonight. Sorrell Houghton just gets it. A good ace from Sorrell Houghton. Bad read by Cundiff and Smith. A little miscommunication on that one. Let's see if Houghton can get another ace. Regular serve here. Tap over by Smith. Great regroup here from the Spartans. Here's Smith right here. Smith. Great save by McKeel. McKeel. Ball taps over the net. Smith keeps it in play. And a violation from the, from the Sailfish leads to a point for the Spartans. They now go up 4-1 in the set. Houghton hits it right to Cundiff. A powerful spike by Smith. And she gets the point for her team. Form B. Excuse me, Hooper comes off. And Smith comes off. Here is the spike, excuse me, the serve from PBA. McKeel hits it down with great precision on the ball. Rivera comes off. A lamb comes off. And so does Hooper. Sierra Razor serves it. Here's a spike from Cundiff. But they get the point for the Spartans as it just went out. My, my. Alisa Cundiff really got up on that play. She's really showing some promising bounce here tonight. Someone needs to check her vert. Maybe NBA scout. Here's the serve. Balls to bat it around. Cundiff again. Too powerful on that play as the ball just went out. 6-2 lead here, folks. Spartans lead. Welcome back here, folks. 7-2 lead for the Spartans. A commanding start here in the fourth set as the Spartans are eager to close off this match. Here's Avita. Violation from the P PBA, and it's going to be another point for the Spartans. Here's Sierra Razor. Cannot get it over on that serve. Will lead to a substitution. And she will go off. She will come off. Avita comes off. And Cody Rivera, the libero, the captain, El Capitan, comes back in. Here's Katie McKeel. And she cannot get it down in time as the ball goes out. 8-4 here. 
Spartans still lead. If I were the Spartans coach, I would like to try to get a commanding lead. Good save by them, by the way. If I was the Spartans coach, I would try to get a commanding lead here. Maybe five points or more because we know that this selfish team could really come under your skin real quick. As they're not looking to go away anytime soon. Kill comes off, Malias comes off. I mean, excuse me, Melissa Elias comes off. Loma comes back in, and Emily No comes in to serve. Olivia Smith. Great spike, better defense by Kors and Fossler. Formby hits it down. A great angle by Formby as she just came right back on. Fresh legs and fresh energy. Formby delivers. Nine five, Spartans lead. Hits it right to Houghton. Kelly Cord taps it over. Great save by Smith. Smith, revolt. Here's no. Here's the Walmart. They keep it in play here. Houghton. Kelly Cord. A great. Sequence of events leads to a core spike. No sets up. Callie cores right here and she shuts it down. As what Mike Breen would say, throws it down. But she cannot capitalize on that serve. And she will come off and JJ Ramirez will come in. Ten six, Spartans still lead. Spartans defense is really stellar here right now. Have a lot of defensive players in right now. Forstler spike down, great save by Smith. Holton finishes the job. Savell Holton, the hitman, is really finishing the job here. Possession after possession. My God, Savell Holton. So Claudia Rivera will serve it. No blooper serve. Smith. Great deflection. Great action here. Great transitioning by the Spartans. You can see them really positioning well. But Houghton just could not get enough on it. And the Sailfish get the point. Tober comes off. Alyssa Vidia comes back in. 5'8 senior. As she will serve it. Houghton hits it right to Luoma. Houghton slides and glides and she cannot get it over. Here is Alyssa Vidia again. Hits the right to Rivera. No. Luoma. Wow! Sarah Luoma. The Italian Stallion spiking it down. I believe Luoma is an Italian name. It sounds Italian to me, so I'm going to jack that. So, Sarah Luoma comes off. Elias comes back in. Here's Avida. Revo. Better defense by Sierra Razor. And Katie McKeel. <laughs> Melissa Elias. Calm and composed. Never really shows emotion. Let's her play does do the action. Sarah, oh wow, the ball ricochets off for Elias and the ball goes out for a selfish point. The lead now is four as Tampa still has a lead here, 13 to nine. Here's Rivera right there. Elias sets up McKeel. Tap over by McKeel. Smith sets up Smith. 
Great reaction timing by both the duo. You know who they are. Wow. The players are flying. Saving the ball. And the ball goes out for a Spartans point. 14-9. Spartans lead. Cali Kors comes back in. And J.J. Ramirez will come off. Here's the serve. Avida gets it to Rewalt. And the ball goes out for another point for the Spartans. Here is Sorrell Colton as she hits it up. Smith taps it. Rivera almost falling. Evita falls down with the save. Great save by Rivera. Here's McKeel, and they get the point. Wow. Katie McKeel again and again, really delivering for her team as they need it. As you can see from that previous replay, Katie McKeel delivering. Here's Holton again, I believe with her fifth serve. Ooh, a miss hit there. I think the ball went in. A great angle by Cali Kors. I don't think that PBA thought it was going to be in, but nevertheless, it was in. 17-19 Spartans lead. Timeout, PBA. Welcome back here, folks. Spartans taking a commanding eight-point lead here, 17-9. to Looking to close out this match here and wave goodbye, PBA. Here is Sorrell Holton. Ali Smith dives for that ball. Here is Katie McKeel. The ball ricocheted between Elias and Holton as they laugh it off. Here is a lamb. Haven't really seen a lamb too much tonight. Comes in. But PBA gets the point on that one as Cali Kors cannot execute on that play. Seventeen eleven, fourth set here. Reminder for folks just joining us. Spartans lead two to one in the series. So with this set, they will win the match. And speaking of winning the possession, Katie McKeel again, spiking it down. The ball hit the net, too much power on that. Wow. Sierra Razor just taps it over. Good save by Cundiff. A weird angle by the left-handed and the ball just goes out for a PBA point. 
as I was saying again, that weird angle by by Jazz Smith, as she's we, we know that she's a left-handed player, so she will have some unorthodox angles here. Katie McKeel taps it over and gets it right past Formby. And Smith tried to kick it, but she could not. Katie McKeel comes off. Melissa Elias comes off. And you know the tag team duo, Emily Noel and Sarah Luoma come back in. They really relish off each other. You can see that. It's really evident here tonight. Here's the serve. Foster was waiting for that tap over. No. Luoma! Lu -lu 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 Luoma with the kill. Twenty twelve. Spartans lead. Five points away from getting this their final set and winning the match. Believe I jinxed it as the ball went out. Cundiff will serve it. A little too strong in that play. And it will be 21-13. Tampa leads. Here's Cali Kors. Aims and fires. Right to Cundiff. Ball is up. Here's Rewalt. Too strong on the play. And these unforced errors are coming in favor for the Spartans as the lead now increases to nine. Kelly Kors shoots and fires. A diving save from Cundiff. Kelly Kors is right there. Here's no. Sorrell, hold in. Ball the flex. Forsler on the rebound. Wow, let's see the replay on that one. As Taylor Forsler came out of nowhere and saved it for her team with the Derek Jeter spike. 23-13. Two points away from getting the game. Forsler again taps it over. I'm raising my left hand with my index finger up. It is match point here, folks. Fans back home, get on the edge of your seat because Tampa is at match point. Cali Kors hits it. Spike over. Gregerson, great spike on that one. Smith hits it up. Here's Smith. Whoa. Ball is bad around. They keep it alive. Rivera keeps it alive right there. Oh, and Forster! A trifecta point for Forster! And she kills it and seals the deal. 25 13. And that's all, folks. That's all she wrote. Tampa Spartans increase now to 24 and 2 as PBA falls to 14 and 13. A great overall match from both teams as PBA really brought a lot of competition to the Tampa Spartans as we bow down here and show a great sportsmanship. I believe they are praying. We love to see this here. Amen, folks. That's a great way, a great segue to end the game here. Collective prayer. We all love to see that. From all of us from